Hi, welcome to my channel, Five Horizons. Um, yes, yeah, so I just got done work a couple uh, a couple hours ago, and I am heading west to uh, the Bichot State Forest in Pennsylvania here, and it's right outside of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, I got the whole weekend, so tomorrow we're going to do a hike, and it's going to be up in the 90s tomorrow, and it's only May, so I'm not looking forward to the heat. site that I reserved is uh, site number 15 and from what I researched you can't drive into the campsite it's one of those spots where you park and you have to walk your gear uh, to the spot which um, I'm a little bummed about that but it's not the end of the world all right we are in the Michaud State Forest here all right our turnoff should be right around here I think this is it. District Road. All right. All right. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> There's the log cabin over there. And the campsite should be up here on the left. Campsite number 15. All right, where's it at? Where's it at? Come on. It's gotta be right up here. So we're going over this creek here. I forget the name of it though. And I think the camp spot's like right next to the creek. All right, the campsite should be right here. But the only place to park, there's somebody there. I don't like that at all. All right, so this is what's going on. I'm at the campsite here, which is a, a really nice one. They got a they got a fire pit and a picnic table, and it's really I mean you can have groups back here. It's a uh, it's really nice. The creek's right over there, but the problem is there's only one spot for a car on the side of the road, and somebody's parked there. <laughs> okay, so here's what's going on. So when I was checking out the campsite at campsite number 15. Uh, I noticed there was a couple guys camped a little bit further back from the main campsite. <laughs> so I politely walked up to him with my permit and kind of told him that, hey, you know, you're in my spot. <laughs> Could you kindly move? Uh, and they were very nice and they, they, uh, they did. They uh, offered to move. But then I realized that there was another spot up the, up the road here, campsite number three. And last time I checked, I believe it was unoccupied for this weekend. So that's where I'm at now. I'm at campsite number three. There's Bart over there. So I think I'm just gonna stay here. And if a ranger comes, I'll just show him my permit and explain the uh, situation. Now here's the campsite up here. Campsite number three. Whew, that humidity. <laughs> this is like the first humid day of the year. I'm not used to it. <laughs> well, this is a nice spot. In the pines, nice big fire pit. Even has a picnic table there. Yeah, man, this is nice. It's a shame I can't bring my vehicle here. I want to put my, I want to drive my vehicle and have it like right there. That'd be awesome. Uh, but now you got to park out there and then walk your gear in. It's kind of a bummer. There's a feather. Okay, so there's Bart. There is my van, and I have the fan on, my ceiling fan on, the fantastic fan, and I'm having that draw. A lot of the hot air out of the uh, out of the camper van, make it a little bit more uh, comfortable for sleeping. And then over here, I have mesh all around my windows. I have my windows down, and then I uh, I had this old mesh bivy, this backpacking mesh bivy uh, that I didn't need anymore, so I, I cut it up and uh, using it as screens. So uh, yeah, I just got these magnets from Home Depot. It's uh, working out pretty good. 
here's the other side. And I, I got to get more of these black magnets because I'm using my other magnets that I have inside the van to make sure no bugs get in there. But uh, yeah, it's working out pretty good. They do sell special um, screens that you can buy that actually go over the whole door. Well, half the door where the, where the uh, window is. I believe they're called Skeeter Beaters or something like that. But um, I don't know. I think it's, they're pretty expensive. I think they were like 50, 60 bucks. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this, I mean, I already had the mesh here. So I just cut that up and it only cost me a couple bucks for the magnets. But yeah, it's working out pretty good. Well, good morning. Uh, I slept pretty good last night. Uh, the temperature was pretty decent. I was uh, a little worried it was going to be like too warm to sleep, like sleeping in a hot room. <laughs> Did you ever try to sleep in a hot room? It's like terrible. But um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was, um, yeah, the fans kept me nice and cool and uh, the screens <laughs> kept the bugs out pretty good. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's really nice out. It's a really, really nice morning. So you know, let's get some coffee and some uh, breakfast going and get the day started here. So I got my standard uh, breakfast here. It's just some uh, old fashioned oats with some raisins, peanut butter and uh, some cinnamon and sugar. So that should uh, <coughs> that should fill me up pretty good. All right, let's get a look at the map here. I have it pinned up to my bulletin board over my desk. So here's where we're camped right here, campsite number three. Here's campsite number 15 that uh, somebody was parked in my spot. And even if I did park there, that spot was so off level, I wouldn't have been able to sleep in the van. So it actually worked out much better that I ended up uh, at this campsite here. So we're gonna head into the park today and check it out. There's a couple loop trails that we can do. Uh, the Ramble Trail, the Charcoal Hearth Trail, and then even if we wanted to take, this is the Appalachian Trail here, uh, this green line, take it up, check out a shelter here. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see uh, how I feel and what's, what we're going to do. All right, let's uh, head on out of this camp and uh, do some exploring. So there's another campsite, ah, campsite number number 16, and I kind of want to check it out. I want to see if you're able to actually drive into the campsite there. Those are the campsites I really want, the ones that you can drive into. So we'll just check it out. It's on the way to the uh, to the state park. So oh, well, it looks like those guys left that were parked there at uh, campsite 15. Yeah, so right there's the parking spot for the campground. You can see it off to the right there. That's all it is. It's a big campground with only one parking spot and it's not even level. So it was better that I ended up back there. It is a nice campsite though. And there's a little pull off over the bridge here that you could probably get a car or two. So, oh, all these butterflies are out. Wow. Huh. I don't know if you can see that, but there's butterflies like everywhere. Out of the way, butterflies. So, I think this campsite's down this road. I just want to check it out, see if it's any good. Yeah, it was a nice campsite back there, but you cannot drive back there. I don't think you can drive back to any of the spots in this forest. I'm bummed about that, but what are you gonna do? There's the visitor center here. It says they have a swimming pool. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, check out the visitor center. Okay. 
All right, so I'm at the park here. And there's a lot of people. I don't really like to film myself when there's a lot of people around. So, but yeah, this is this is really nice here. They got a swimming pool. There's bathrooms. There's a creek that runs through here. All right, so I decided to uh, throw on my full backpack and uh, head up on the Appalachian Trail here. Uh, do like a, I don't know, maybe like a six mile loop. Uh, nothing too, uh, nothing too strenuous, but uh, yeah, that park there, the state park was pretty crowded. I, I had to get away. It was just too many people for, for my tastes. Yeah, it feels neat being on the Appalachian Trail here with a full pack on my back. <laughs> if I keep going this way, I'll make it to Maine, go down that way, take you all the way to Georgia. Yeah, I threw hikes back in 2009, way back in 2009. And yeah, I miss, I miss trail life, man. It's, it's not like a vacation. It's, it becomes like your life, and uh, you never really re-enter the... Uh, so-called normal world, you know, once you through hike, you're, I don't know, you're kind of, you're changed for the better, I would say. So we're coming up on the on the shelter here and from what i remember it really is one of the nicest shelters on the whole appalachian trail yeah it's a hot one today it's got to be in the upper 80s something like that so I took a break at the shelter back there and there were a bunch of through hikers there and a couple section hikers and it was pretty crowded. So I didn't do any filming, but uh, it was fun just kind of hanging out with them and talking with them and yeah, had a nice, had a nice break there. Uh, so yeah, we're almost back to the, uh, almost back to the van and this felt good, <laughs> a little sore. I think we're gonna be about seven or eight miles for the whole day. So yeah, it's gonna feel good to, uh, get back to the van and crank the AC. All 
All right, so I uh, got cleaned up a bit and got a change of clothes. Uh, nice and comfy now, and uh, we're heading back to camp. It's about four o'clock, so we got like another four hours of daylight. And uh, I, I'm thinking about going back to campsite three, where I was last night, because where I parked was more level than uh, this one right up here. <laughs> hey, look, nobody's parked in my spot this time <laughs> I mean I can pull over right here and camp where I can pull into that spot but that spot like I said is not level and uh, so I'm gonna head back up to campsite 3 and uh, hang out there for the night all right here is campsite number three and nobody's here I'm taking it <laughs> I gotta back in though. Alright, let's see. Alright, home sweet home for the night. Alright, so let's get a look at the map here and see what we did today. So we parked right here in Caledonia State Park, got on the Appalachian Trail, started hiking north, and this was a climb right here. This was up. <laughs> and it was hot too, so I was sweating. So kept going up, up, up. Right around here, we made a right on this Locust Gap Trail, which turns into a, a road. It was a road and a trail for a little bit. Made a left here on the uh, Hosack Trail. And this trail here, I highly recommend if you're ever in the uh, Michaux Forest doing some hiking or backpacking. There's lots of great campsites back in here and there's plenty of water. So that's, that's really nice. Then we got back onto the Appalachian Trail here started hiking south again and then we hit up this quarry gap shelter which is one of the nicest shelters on the whole Appalachian Trail so I hung out there for like a half an hour there were a bunch of other through hikers there that was kind of fun and then I didn't really film much there I was kind of uncomfortable filming with other people around but uh anyway so we started hiking south after that all the way back down back down to the van yeah so that's what we did So it is Sunday morning and I'm getting ready to head on out of this camp. Uh, yeah, so I had a great weekend. It was a little warm, but it wasn't, uh, wasn't too bad. So uh, thanks for coming along and we'll see you in the next video.